What's up guys? Um, today I'm gonna be showing how to complete the entirety of the Sweetberry Catacombs. Um, like get all the levers to unlock the um, final boss here. So let's get started. Basically, the first place you go for the first lever, it's kind of annoying, but it's not too hard. Wait, this is right. Wait, this one. But yeah, this one. Oh god. But yeah. Um, not very hard, but if you fall, you can, if you have like a glider or something, you can go over into this waterfall and not, here, there, that's, yeah, there you go, see, you can go into the waterfall to prevent dying, and then, there's a opening right here, you go in here and you, if you want to, if you're trying to collect all the seeds to get this uh, headpiece thing, you can, there's one back here, below this, but, other than that, if you keep going this way, oh, okay, I did not see that, okay, um, but you climb up here, and then, you go over here, so, okay, I failed that, but, you pretty, you almost need a glider to do this, but I don't think it's, like, physically required, but, yeah, this is the maze, you just follow where I'm going, you should get to it right here. I forgot I changed the parry sound. Oh my god. That, that's just something random I did. I thought it was funny, but. I just realized it might be kind of loud. I'm gonna turn down a couple notches. But then basically just keep going this way. Like, exploring this, like, cave? I wouldn't really call it a cave. I guess I could kind of good, but. Um. I thought this was gonna be creepy for a while, but it's not. Um, but if you keep going this way, wait, yeah, this way I think. You eventually, yeah, this cleric, just run past them and go up here. Oh, you know, it's the other one. Oh, this one. Right here. And then there's another opening right here. And then you can. I just try to avoid the enemies. You can fight them if you want, but I don't really want to die, so. But if you keep going this way, there should be a rope. This is the part, this is the annoying part, because whenever someone's trying to have me help them get, like, the levers, they always end up dying here, so be careful not to die. If you go this way, though, there'll be this guy. Just run past him and go into this room with the tree, and no. Okay. I just tried to run past him. Just roll into this or hit it with the weapon to knock it, knock the boards down. Um, if you keep going this way, this, like, hole in the ground... Right there, with the tree coming out of it. Go right past that, and there's a lever right here. That opens this, which is right next to the entrance, which we'll be coming back to if I die, which I probably will. But here's where... This is, like, the worst part of this entire catacombs thing. Run past all the enemies. Of course, they wouldn't be like that, because they're just, like... They were all in that one room, because, um, okay, is this guy gonna stop following me? No, he disappeared, okay, but basically, the, don't pull out your glider, because they will just, like, snipe you out of the air, Here, I'll just demonstrate it right now, if you're gliding, they'll just shoot you out of the air and kill you, so, don't, don't use your glider here, if you don't want to get sniped out of the air, but yeah, like I said, um, entrance right back there and then you just go this way and it's we're back right there there's lever so the spore shot is pretty good for this part because you can just kind of kill them from far away with the heavy attack why didn't that do anything oh maybe i was too far yeah. of course if you actually have a build with spore shot you might actually be able to do it once although i almost got knocked off god you could just run past this guy but I just killed him. So. This 
part is pretty confusing the first time coming through, but once you know the path, it's really easy. But just follow where I go and it shouldn't be too hard. Follow my glider. Sure about that. This one is probably one of the easiest ones to avoid. You just kind of go around the tree and then it just ignores you. This is like the only safe area in here where you can use the glider. I just use it to drop down. Uh, you could jump from up above to down here, but I've died doing that before, so be careful. There we go. Also, these plants, they give you venom immunity if you cook them into potions, which is very useful later. You could either jump across or go across this little board right here for this part, but I just usually jump across. There. If you're wanting the twig claws as well here, this is like one of the best places to go for them. Probably. Maybe, I don't know. There's just a whole bunch of those guys here, so. We're really close to the end. So, there's gonna be a guy behind you, be careful not to get attacked by him. There's this hole. I always miss it. Be careful not to just not see it and walk into it. I've done that multiple times. I always aim for like the corner right there so I don't fall into that giant hole right there. And then we're basically at the end. And then here is the Grave Tree Lab, the first boss fight here. Um, you kill him. But once you kill him, this door opens and you can go in here and get this lever. If I die, I'll, I'll, way back here just to, I'll try and kill him. Okay, I don't know why that wasn't working. I don't know if there's really a second phase or anything like that. I, I, I actually don't know. Oh, I might die here. Oh, I'm dead, bro. If you have the Venom Spore Shot build, you can just easily cheese this guy. Well, not really cheese him, but go kill him really quickly. Okay, I died, but once you um, open that lever, it opens the lever, or opens the, like, the cells in the deeper part. I'll, I, yeah, but once you flip that lever, you'll have to come back here either way, so. Um, but, here we go, oh, okay. I don't know how I have all of those. Right here, you always just want to run past the cleric in this room. Just, just run past them. Right. Then in here, basically now you have to find um the broken lever piece. They spawn in. They can't spawn in this room. But they spawn in like these kind of tombs. So hopefully I don't get killed by the jailer. But. The right tomb will be like sparkling. It'll have like white little sparkles on it. Which makes it so much easier to find the right one. Just kind of search around until I find it or until I die. Be careful because some rooms have me creeps like this one. Oh, he's gonna get. He'll they'll do that. Eventually, there will be one with this like a little like white sparkly on, sparkly on it. That well, that's how you'll know whether it's. Oh, oh my god. Um, okay. What? Okay, that makes sense. You can just walk into the tombs. 
but basically there would be more of the lever piece. There'll be like it changes every five minutes. There's a specific one that'll give you the lever piece, and it has like little white sparkles on it. So once you find that, you can open it, and um, you have the lever piece. I'll show you where to put the lever if I can get back there without getting killed. But there will be one of these guys right here. So. Yes, he is. Go! Oh. oh my god. Okay. Where is he? Gonna... Okay. Oh! I did not know there was a thing there. That scared me. No, oh, put me down. Oh, he's in. He might go through the wall here. No, he's not. That hurt. Okay, I'm gonna say your regen really quick. I guess the health doesn't really matter since the jailer one shots anyways, but usually I just go into the every like other cell. Wait until he isn't. And then all the way at the end of the hallway here. Oh, I should've just went. I should've just went. Oh okay. Please turn around. Please go back that way and say all oh, okay. I don't know if it's always, but for some reason the lever piece, for me, has always spawned in this hallway here. Like the glowy tomb has always spawned like in this hallway. In like one of these cells. I don't really know why, it's just kinda... Can you please go that way so you're... Stop. Thank you. Just go in here really quick. Yeah. At the end of this hallway, um, this will be open. You'll have to put the lever piece right here. And then that will that you're basically done. You that's the last lever you needed to get. Um, and then once you flip that lever, it will unlock the last door. Which I will go to right now. Just in case you can't find it. Right here. And then you have to go like down. Yeah, I don't know. Now I'm pretty sure this is the new hardest boss fight in the game, so yeah, you probably want some pretty good weapons and stuff to fight this guy, but yeah, that's basically it. <laughs>